You are now watching the Lone Blown. Blown! Yo, what's poppin' YouTube? Thanks so much for stopping by here at the Lone Blown. If you haven't already hit that subscribe button, hit that subscribe button for all great Pokemon TCG content. And while you're at it, give this video a like, thumbs up. If you're new to the channel, welcome. We really are super glad to have you here. In today's video, we're going to be going over my updated ADP Zation deck list. I've kind of been improving it quietly. I know I haven't posted an ADP list in like four weeks because a bunch of other YouTubers are posting ADP lists. Maybe you're like, yo, you want to know what? I want to hear Zach's take. He won the Players' Cup too. I like Zach. I just like ADP. For whatever reason, I do want to update the list um, if you're playing any of the upcoming events like the Hexter Mondays, Chill TCG Wednesdays, or maybe you're playing in the GG Tour $3,000 tournament this weekend. If you still haven't registered for the event, you can use my buddy Matty Tate's discount code CHILL5 um, if you want to get 50% off your registration. So this video is not going to be overly long. I will be posting up a link up top that shows how ADP is played if you're a little bit new to the game um, or if you just want to know how I play ADP. But ADP has been largely one of the greatest decks of all time, um, dominating our format for a while now. So I just want to kind of update you with where my list is at. Nothing extremely spectacular, nothing crazy, but you want to know what? It is my updated ADP list, and I do want to provide um, as much content as possible, especially now that we're kind of part of the holiday season. If you're missing any of the cards for this deck, you can go into the description below. Um, there's a code right there. You can use code ZLASSAGE to save 5% off at PTCGO store. Um, there's also the copy and pasteable list for PTCGO, but yeah, let's just jump right into this deck and see exactly what's going on. So here we have the ADP deck list, and I mean, looking at it, it's nothing insano, but it is a very consistent version of the deck. Um, we do play three copies of Zacian instead of four copies of Zacian. I've never really found myself needing to have three Zacian in play. Um, in most cases, I just play the third one to make sure it's not prized. Um, it might stop from ideal starts, but it does allow us to squeeze a few more cards in. As you can see, there's everybody's favorite card in the format, Crushing Hammer, just vibing out here. Um, Crushing Hammer isn't really a means to take away energies in the format anymore. It's really a means for you to get more energy in play than your opponents in most cases, um, or just slowing down your opponent. So it's not necessarily reliant on the coin flip as much. It's just for the few circumstances where you come close to the 50-50 that you slow down your opponent enough where you can get that extra turn for boss. Um, Obviously, it's going to lead to some spectacular lists or utmost failures, and that's kind of in the essence of a coin flip card, where sometimes you're going to be like, oh, I just need this one heads to get past and you won't get there. But overall, I feel like Crushing Hammer is kind of mitigated by the effect of ADP going boss boss game. If you can slow down your opponent one more turn, if you just kind of have a speed bump in a game, this will allow you to kind of get that extra boss. So it's not like we're trying to create the most toxic deck. We're just trying to get as many turns as possible to use boss's orders if we need to get to that point. Um, two copies of ADP, pretty standard. Three copies of water. I really like that combination. It, to me, it seems like the correct combination for this deck at this time, especially since we're only allowed to have 60 cards in the deck. I was literally talking to someone earlier and I was like, if ADP could have like 80 to 100 cards, there'd probably be like five, six copies of water energy just because it's so important to get off that altered creation GX. Um, the Dene's, Crobats, pretty standard in this list just to draw some extra cards whenever you need it. I do have a copy of Zigzagoon, which is a little rare, but with Reshizard kind of making a comeback and all these tag team Pokemon, the Zigzagoon actually allows us to hit some Okos um, on those Pokemon, and it allows us to hit like different numbers that we otherwise wouldn't be able to have. And you might be like, yo, Zach, we see the one Leon there. Um, why would you not play two Leons? And Zigzagoon also takes up a bench spot. Why would you play Zigzagoon? My thought process on it is that Zigzagoon is searchable by Quick Ball, whereas Leon is searchable by nothing unless it's in the discard pile, and therefore it's searchable by Eldegoss. So in a way, Eldegoss can function as a second Leon. Leon itself kind of functions as a second or as a fifth boss order. So Zigzagoon is a unique card in the deck that allows us to kind of get to that 270 damage on a Mewtwo, on a Reshizard. There's a few Pokemon that it can help out with numbers. Just kind of like look into it a little bit more. Eldegoss is cute just because it can get back any of our supporters, but mainly since this deck is playing boss and Leon, you want to be able to get back boss and Leons. In a rare circumstance, you can use research. Now, one thing that is missing from this deck that I'd really like to have in the deck is Aegislash V. I am worried that Gassy Goons is out there or that Decidueye is out there. 
but currently in our format it hasn't been performing over the past week or so um the week before that it was performing really high usually these decks kind of <clears throat> duck out of the format for a few weeks and then they pop back and then win a few events it's really one of those things where you don't want to be caught without an age slash v i think it might be correct for especially the gg tour tournament to not play an age slash v and my only reasoning on that and it's no meta manipulation at all it, it's it's i just feel like if you're playing in a large event that's offering large cash prizing you have a really good chance of just avoiding decidui because not a lot of players ever choose that deck and the fact that you could also go six two one to make day two i think you're actually okay to take a loss to it now it could be magnified and looked at a bunch of different ways that's my personal take now i don't personally think that i'll be taking adp to that event but i might change my mind because adp is largely one of the strongest decks that we have in format but it is just my opinion right now mawile is kind of a soft counter to that but mainly it's just to drop your opponent's two prize card pokemon down you don't really even care that much when your opponent benches a Dedenne GX or can't use Dedenne GX unless you absolutely just stop them dead in their tracks. Mawal GX is just one of those things where if they're holding on to their two prize card Pokemon that you could turn into three prize card Pokemon with Altered Creation GX, that's where it's good at. Research is standard, boss orders, because we just want to go boss boss after using Altered Creation GX. Um, Altered Creation GX drawing an extra prize card and then either using Ultimate Ray or Brave Blade to draw... To get some knockouts on some two prize card pokemon that are now worth three prize card pokemon side note don't overlook mawile's attack wily bites um it can knock out especially knock out pokemon especially if your pokemon your opponent over benches and it costs two energies so if you ever run into a situation where you're running low on energies or maybe you won't be able to find all your metal saucers mawile is closer than a zacian just always analyze your opponent's board state <clears throat> beyond that um, the Leon we've already gone over, it just allows us to hit some extra numbers on some Pokemon. Maybe we want to get that knockout on our opponents. Um, what, what would be in the active? A, a Luke Metal, something like that? Um, if you're playing against a Luke Metal matchup, it also kind of goes around and gets past Metal Goggles. Especially if you've already used Altered Creation GX. So, Altered Creation GX and Full Metal Wall will equal each other out. So, the plus 30, minus 30 equals itself out. Then they're still going to have an extra minus 30 for Metal Goggles. Leon allows you to go around that. So, it is very good in that particular matchup. Um, one Marnie is a little bit on the low side. But I do like having the option to just, like, shuffle your opponent's hand back. Maybe play Crushing Hammers. You can get it back with Eldegoss. Um, Crushing Hammers we went over. Metal Saucer just to get back some energies on Zacian. You can always energy switch those energies to an ADP. Quick Ball is very common. Energy switch allows you to kind of get those multi-energies on a different Pokemon per turn. So if you have no energies on ADP at the beginning of the turn, it is possible for you to do Altered Creation Jex in a single turn. Switch is just really of the essence of the format, with Picarom largely being the most skill-based and powerful deck. Um, Tandem Shock can definitely hurt you. Switch is great. Cherish Ball allows us to search out ADP, Dedenne, and the odd Mawile GX. Energy Spinner allows us to get some energies. Tool Scrapper is really for the what's already gone over the Luke Metal. Sometimes I feel like that deck is just very good and played in numbers. I think Luke Metal is going to be one of the most played decks heading into the GG Tour tournaments this Saturday, and it's very much at the top of the metagame. That might change um, going forward, but right now I like Tool Scrapper in the list. Uh, great catcher i would like to play more copies of this card because it is like a freebie card you could use research and then play it but it is to bring up your opponents to den gx and other pokemon as well i i just think great catcher is well great air balloon helps us out with some free retreat so we can always bounce back from our brave blade attack and then we have enough energy to really kind of equal things up so the strategy of this deck is to attach a metal energy to an adp next turn attach a water energy if your opponent discards an energy somehow, you can energy switch, metal saucer, get extra energy in play, altered creation GX, and then try to go for the boss boss game with ultimate ray, brave blade, and the odd wily bite. You can get those supporters by using Eldegoss, playing boss orders. Leon, if your opponent has a little bit amount of HP in active, but really you want to focus on two two prize card Pokemon that are now two three prize card Pokemon with the effect of altered creation GX. This is a timeless strategy that's been really dominating our game since sword and shield was dropped and we really saw zation v being released i i really don't see it changing too much so i don't want to be like overly repetitive that's why it's just a deck list video today but again it is going to be linked on the top um a playlist video of me playing adp 
Um, just so you can see the deck in action a little bit, um, the video is like a month old, but it's really the same deck at its core. So hopefully you enjoy that if you want to watch that. Um, but yeah, this is our deck list. I think it's pretty solid. Um, let me know in the comments if your deck list is a little bit different or if you have any questions about the counts or the text in this deck. And that's where we are with this video today. Again, if you're missing any of the cards in this deck, feel free to go to ptcgostore.com, plug in code ZLASSAGE, and save 5% off your order. Um, it's also in the description below in case I'm getting the code wrong. It might be like ZLASSAGE5. I think it's just ZLASSAGE, but either way, um, check that out. And yeah, let me know in the comments if you got any questions about the deck. I'd be, I try to be as active as possible there just to answer whatever's going on. Any big or small question, I'm, I'm always uh, trying to be your homie. Uh, beyond that, I mean, yeah, ADP is a really solid deck and I hope that it allows you to get to some victories. If you are a newer player, um, it will allow you to kind of, kind of gap over the skill gap in Pokemon just to kind of overcome your opponent. So I've definitely lost to some newer players playing ADP because the deck is a little bit more on the autopilot scale, but the deck really focuses at sequencing at its core, which does mean that there's a lot more skill involved than most players realize. ADP can sometimes draw out of it and make it look otherwise, but I don't know. We can get into that debate another day. That being said, I really hope you enjoyed this video. Again, if you haven't already, subscribe to that channel. We're on our way to 1,000 subs, and I couldn't have done it without any of all y'all support, all of your support, all of y'all support. I don't know. Let me know in the comments about that below. Anyways, have yourself a great day. Thank you so much for watching. Peace out. Really hope that you enjoyed watching that video. I totally enjoyed making it. If you enjoyed it, be sure to like the video, share the video with everyone that you know, and subscribe to the channel as well. Totally appreciate all the support. We got a lot of cool things happening on the channel, so stay tuned for more. Be sure to check out the social links in the description. Thanks and have yourself a great one.